இன்னைக்கு வந்து இப்ப அந்த ஆறாவது பதினாலாவது சாப்டர்ல ஆறாவது ஸ்லோகத்துல இருந்து சந்திரகுமார் அவர்கள் சத்துவத்தை பத்தியும் அதோடைய பிரபாவத்தை பத்தியும் நம்ம இது உள்ள பகவத்கீதால என்னென்னலாம் எடுத்தோமோ அதெல்லாம் பத்தி பேசுவாரு அண்ணா நமஸ்தே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நான் சொல்ல வேண்டியது எனக்கு அவ்வளோ தமிழ் வராது ஸோ இங்கிலீஷில் நான் சொல்கிறேன் மணிக்கு மலாரும் இப்போ நம்ம ப்ரெசென்ட் பண்ண போகிறது அபவுட் சத்துவ குணம் அதாவது ஆறு பதினொன்று பதினாலு பதினேழு ஏன்னா ஆறு பதினொன்று பதினாலு பதினேழு ஒய் இட் இஸ் ஜம்பிங் ஆறுக்கு அப்புறமா ஏழு தானே வரணும் இட்ஸ் ஆல் ரிலேட்டட் டு சத்துவம் ஓ ஓகே ஓகே ரிலேட்டட் ஓகே ஸோ த point he has taken for the character of satvam and what is the lingam for satvam means what are the signs for satvam and uh, during the dead bed if you think or in the dead bed if you are being in satva guna what will be the result of it so 6th shlokam 11th shlokam 14th shlokam 17th shlokam okayla okay, okay please proceed satva expresses as and binds through pleasure and knowledge தத்ர சத்துவம் நிர்மல்வ பிரகாசம் அன்னமயம் சுகசங்கேன பதுநாதி ஞானசங்கேன அர்ஜுனா சின்லஸ் ஒன் டே தேர் அமாங் திஸ் சத்துவ பிகாஸ் இட் இஸ் பியூர் இஸ் இலுமினேட்டிங் அண்ட் இஸ் ஃப்ரீ அப்ளிகேஷன் இட் பைண்ட்ஸ் ஒன் பை கனெக்ஷன் டு சட்டில் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் pleasure and connections to knowledge tatra means among these three qualities now firstly let us take sattva it is defined here as annamaya without application because it is free from any kind of impurity nirmalvat for example annamayam is sattvam silent shantam swarupam Sattva is able to reflect consciousness very clearly. It is Prakashaha and therefore it gives clear knowledge being Annamaya without any application, without pain or pain and harm. Mm. Whenever we see the things clearly, must know it is an expression of Sattva. Wherever you are cheerful or experience of pleasure moment, Sattva is predominant. அதாவது மேல் ஓங்கி இருக்கும் தோ தீஸ் ஆர் டிசைரபிள் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் பகவான் டஸ் நாட் ஃபெயில் டு பாயிண்ட் அவுட் ஹியர் தட் தே டூ ஆர் பைண்டிங் அ குவாலிட்டி பிலாங்கிங் டு சத்வ வேர் ஹி டேக்ஸ் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் ஆஸ் ஹிம்செல்ஃப் ஆஸ் சக்தி சுக்கி அண்ட் சேஸ் ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி அட் த டைம் ஆஃப் சத்வ வென் வி டூ ஜப்ப Puja, reading, Vedas, etc. Manas is Santam. But there are the three hiding factors. But Atma is not affected by these qualities. Even meditation also is Bandhanam. I am doing, I am doer. If it is there, it is a Bandhanam. Not only that I am doer, I am doer. Even something, sometimes we feel, yes, my, my meditation is very perfect. <laughs> I am getting yeah. Savikalpa, yeah. Nirvikalpa. That is also a bandhan. So, 11th Sloka. Sloka, Gunalingam. Sarvadvare Shudhe Gesmin Prakash Upajayate Jnanam Tadyata Tata Vidvat Vivirdham Samruddham Uddham Murjita When illumination takes, that is, knowledge, is born in all the sense organs in this body, then may one know indeed that Sattva is predominant. Sarva Deshu literally means with reference to all the gates. Some say there is a nine or some say it is eleven gates, means opening. Where it is all? In the body. Ah, that's all in the body. In the body, okay. We can take it as in the, any form. Mm. 
बट इन स्मृति पुराण इतिहास एंड वेदास इट इज सेट इट इज इट इज अबउट नई टू लेवन द्वारस द्वारंगल मीन गेट्स देर आर ओनली देर आर ऑल गेट्स ऑफ नॉलेज टेक्स नॉलेज लाइक इयर्स सो That is Navadvara Puridehi, Naiva Kurvanna Karayat, and another one is Puramekada Shakvaraha. That is Kanna, Kadu, Mooku, Vayi, Malajala Dwarangal, Pakka, Vidalla Meshendu. And so on. Padinun Sonna, Brahma Randra Thoda Shethra. Brahma Randra Thoda Shethra. Okay. And so on. In the other words, all these sense organs, a light, Prakasha, which Swami defines as a particular Vritti on Antakarna. arises in all the sense organs in this physical body this is the light of awareness otherwise called knowledge that arises through the sense organs because there is alertness and concentration this knowledge is born born hmm. it becomes the basis of basis to infer that sattva is predominant this happens for everybody even the person in whom tamas is primary वर्ल्ड्स ऑफ दिस of those who know the highest that are free from impurities translation deha brit the one who obtains in the in this body is the jiva to in the in this verse is to distinguish sattva among the three gunas if his life had been predominantly sattvika then sattva will be predominant at the time of death even if even if people are reciting narayana into the into his ears at the hour of his death if he has been rajasika all his life he will only think of mr narayana ayer who mm. owes to give somebody <laughs> or something that he or she has done or given this very you are taken <laughs> <laughs> you are quoted from anything or you have referred with bhagavan or what <laughs> quoted from uh, other uh, scriptures uh, <laughs> the type of thinking uh, that has dominated one's life all along will prevail at the end too this verse is referring to a person who has lived a satvika life therefore yada pralayam yati when he dies sattva praveda with satv satva being predominant then he goes to amalam loka worlds which are not fraught with par with pain mm. like heaven as everyone must he has matured to become satvika and naturally when he dies he goes to the worlds of this of those who know the highest uttama vidvam lokan pratipadyate these are the gods like indra who shankara says knows the truth of this whole creation that is according to shankara he says he will go to the urdhva gati that is the indra loka chandra loka varuna loka vayu loka gubher loka those lokas will be there but the problem is wherever you go abrahm bhuvanan lokan punaravartin urjuna mamu vetyad kaunteya punarjanmam na vidyate so you have to come back to the the so called mundane world <laughs> so to attain jnana and this is up to 14 na no? 14 so here uh, beautiful sir you have condensed uh, in a nutshell very nice but i have few questions <laughs> 17 th <laughs> has not given but of course 17 only half sloka so those who are doing with uh, rajas and tamas they can they can synopsis it now my question is How can we understand that he is a sattva guna pradhan? He will be a silent santam. Tamas guna, tamu guna people also very peaceful, very calm. <laughs> but 
but they'll be in the sleeping mode or like that but they'll uh, be in alertness full alertness, alertness and uh-huh. consciousness but are they also conscious only all actually and so he will be in peace and tranquility tranquility he will be always in tranquil mind and balanced mind balanced. so he never expect anything also he never get disgust also that no i have attained and i have to do something or uh, i have to take big project like that and another one is main thing is ye sattva guna pradani as you said eda sabruddhe satve pravrutte pi pralayam yanti dekha prut during the dead bed when he is see of course we have to be because the body is made out of three gunas mm. and any either one will be predominant, predominant. during our death yes. but now my question is how to understand that this person has given up his body during the particular time of sattva was predominant or rajas was predominant or tamas was predominant that any hint is there if it all i can't say about sattva because uh, rajas and tamas we can say hmm. rajas means he will not be very alert and all hmm. he will be frustration hmm. the frustration will be dominant like uh, it is all already said mr narayana mm-hmm. he has to give or he has to do something something etc it will be running in his behind the mind mm-hmm. we can see even at the dead bed also his eyes will not be very shantam mm-hmm. they will be going on blinking etc etc yes this is another one and uh, since you have uh, referred with the narayana, narayana. that uh, of course how far it is true i don't know but vishishta advaita philosophy is purely the core inner value is based on that antim smriti antim smriti varjanam is very very important the person who is on the dead bed the last breath before giving if he chant any lord name for that matter he will go to that particular god's world yam yam yabapi smaran bhavam tyajantante kalevaram tam tame vaiti kaunteya sada tad bhava bhavitah this is a shloka god has quoted in bhagavad gita now according to this shloka now there is a contradiction because in the brahma sutram there is a big vicharam based on this particular adhikarana called antima smriti varjana there god has given means vyasacharya has given a elaborate means two three sutras for that and shankara and ramanuja and madhvacharya all acharyas given a elaborate commentary for which ramanuja particularly has taken antima smriti varjanam is giving a moksha but in shankara there is a contradiction based on the guna yeah. see as he said of course i don't know how he has quoted that verse but now it has taken into a matter so i am just discussing it in shankara he emphasized even if he give up his body with uttering a word of any god particular deity with knowing or unknowingly but based on the gunas he will take for example suppose i am in the do- last dead bed and i am chanting lord narayana name and if i chanted with sattva guna i will be a nitya kaikari bhava in the narayana loka if i am chanted with rajoguna i will be like a rajas form what are the rajas form like silver ornament or ruby gold diamond these are all rajas form or i may be like vishwaksena or i may be like hanuman i want to do some lot of seva to the lord through which my rajas will be discussed uh, eliminated and another if i am in the tamoguna and uttering lord narayana name then what will happen i will born as ananta shayana yeah. or samudra yeah. or in that bhagavan's samudra there are some tamoguna pradana uh, particles are there so i may born like that so this is how shankara has taken but varas ranarayana said whatever it may he is in the shri vaikunta what is there hmm. it depends upon the god wish but you see self effort is important there according to shankara ramanuja prapatti eva kaikariya <coughs> so you take that thing that is sufficient you may get according to madhva madhvacharya he told are why you want to discuss all those things yeah. whatever it may you are under the lamp yeah then but shankara why he emphasized this jnana deva kaikalyam parantu this uh, satvam tamas rajas all those things are nothing to do with your moksha pradana that's why here the god is again and again is emphasizing 
though you have all the gunas the gunas are nothing to do with your moksha the moksha karana samagriyam is only bhakti or the prapatti or the jnana because the jnana bhakti mishra tattvam eva gives the moksha and another all those things are just like means only so there in the adhikarana called antima smriti he has taken lot of points for discussion but of course the person who you referred i don't know but he has come to that shankara vashyam closely that's why he has told that narayana if you chant also you will not go go to we will become you will not become narayana and another even in the ramanuja commentary also there is a contradiction see Yem, the shloka says that whatever you think at the dead bed that you will become now suppose i am thinking narayana narayana i will not become a narayana yeah because vishishtadvaita will not accept that samipa you will get sarojyam okay you will become a part of narayana you will become you will not become a narayana because narayana is ekatvam sa ekaha sa ekam savai isaya evam vit only the word says now there should not be contradiction of course since the points as raised on that particular thing i am just giving a clarification otherwise it is not uh, for uh, uh, means argument sake also because veda himself says and badrayana also says tarkasya apratikatvat there is no any end for tarka kutarkamar any tarkam for that matter if you argue then the argument will go yeah. it will be goes on so there won't be any end for that but now the point here to discuss is sattvaguni pradani when he gives a body he will be in the japam for example you can take raghavendra swami gal raghavendra swami gal he has given he given his body during japa yeah. and uh, you can take lord ramana maharishi or you can take any avataras also big big uh, means star wars also means even the jains are uh, saints and sages of this world bharata kanta all those people they are giving their full effort in their life for nama sankirtanam or nama japa why no at least if you chant automatically during the dead paint we can able to utter one single word that is sufficient to get samipam samipam okay at least we may we may go we yeah. can get one license suppose i want to go to ayodhya but it is not possible swami at least i can see through online that chintana eva there shankara emphasize the chintana eva the evakara is there in the bashim also if you think that will go at least you can go near and ramanuja also taken that form that only uh, he was fully focusing yes at least we are going to vaikuntana instead of going to the three uh, lokas means uh, atal loka sutala loka or patala loka or if i am going to uh, indra loka chandra loka i may come back but at least this loka i will not come because the badarayana last sutra you may take it from advaita that is triple five or you may take it from <laughs> ramanuja that is 456 or you may take it from madhvacharya it is goes from 5 560 some hard so whatever it may be the last shloka is nacha punaravartate nacha punaravartate he will not come back he will not come back so that shloka gives the full jnana those who attain the jnana that i am the brahman or i am always god or i am one with god because i i am telling from both all the three acharyas we will not come back to this mundane world there ends it so whether it is sattva rajasa tamas the trigunas are nothing to do but it is a loophole or it may be the gate key to attain this so therefore here the lord is telling satvadva sarvadvarani <coughs> when during his death if he attain his god name in the sattva form he will come to shri vaikuntha certainly certainly Whoever it may be, it may be a elephant or it may be a crocodile or it may be anything. Asuras also, for that matter. Even munis, yogis, rishis, everybody they can go and they can get the same knowledge. But one more thing is, according to Advaita, they will go to Brahma Loka, they will go Krama Mukti, then they will get the knowledge and then there will be one with the Lord. It is according to Advaita. according to ramanuja sampradaya you will be called as a kainkarya okay you will be a kainkaryavan so there you will do lot kainkarya 
based on your character Be means if you are satvaguni you will give they will give sandalwood preparation if you are rajoguni you may create some other job so anyway whatever you are doing you are doing you are serving the lord okay so that alone will give mukti this is what and thank you very good very nice preparation and beyond that if any other questions from your side okay. i'll be very happy <laughs> thank you chandrakumar sir very nice and very nice preparation hari om